Hello, welcome back to Gordian Quest. I'm actually just going to do a back-to-back -back recording session for uh, this day, but mostly because I'm having fun. So uh, feel free, I will not be doing a timestamp for this. You can skip like five minutes ahead. I'm going to do some inventory management and like deck microing. If you're interested in this, stay tuned. If not, I get you. Just skip ahead. I will, I, you know, I can't really do anything about it. You're just going to, you know, it is what it is. Hope you're well today. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Hanging in there. I feel like they've been throwing me so much dex gear that I'm never going to use. Yeah. Chainmail gives strength and intelligence, but medium armor is mastered by dex. It's kind of strange, I feel. Plus one intelligence, plus two fire resist. I don't want this. Oh, maybe I do. It's deflect plus one intelligence. Oh, it's just better than what he has, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's just the same thing, but with plus two fire resist. Never mind. I do want that. What do you have? Hmm. Oh, plus one vigil when moving forward. Right, I forgot about that. That's why she's on the middle rank. Yeah, I just can't let my inventory get out of control. And it's easy to do, and I'm just not going to let that happen. Plus one strength. I, the hail shark's tooth is too good. Attack of opportunity is nuts. There's no way that I take this off of her anytime soon. The thing I have to think about is this Bitter Impaler. No, 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 not the Bitter Impaler. The Eagle Hunter versus Bitter Impaler versus Champion's Morning Star. I don't even think it's that much of a thought. Yeah, no way. I think that the problem is that this might be bad, but I would like to find Lucius more AP. Plus one AP to this character is really good. Okay, so let's start. Let's go over here and sell our junk. $50. I'm selling and not breaking it down now. I desire it this way. Got anything I want? The wrong one. Plus three guard with strength defense skills. Start battle with one armor plus one strength. Uh, yeah, this is better because he has no dex defense skills. I lose the one vigil, but the one armor is pretty sick. Yeah, this is way better. I am down to clown here with that. Hand wraps don't care. Driftwood bow don't care. A flail? It's a cool weapon. Strength intelligence. She's just intelligence, though, at this point. Intelligence with, like, a splash of strength. I, I kind of don't like that I'm basically running two intelligence characters right now, but... I don't know. Yeah, really, just I don't know. Luna, what is this? Oh, yeah, great sword. This might be better. I'm gonna take this out and think about it. I'm, gonna st I I'm never gonna sell these legendary pieces because that's how I tend to do stuff like this. And again, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna think about it. The only character that I would think about using this on does not use it very well though. Correct me if I'm wrong, feel free to agree or disagree in the comments about this, but it feels to me like you are not rewarded for picking like and dual specking. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm rewarded for trying to give her strength cards. Maybe there's synergies that are cool, but baseline, it feels like you would just want to pick one color and stack. I haven't seen a reason not to do that yet. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess here we get a little bit of value, right? Because I get to go... Hail Greatsword. And now, and she can wield this because of the strength. I guess it's the gear numbers, right? Because eventually I'm going to want to give her stronger gear, and the stronger gear is probably going to need more strength. I bet that's what I look for. Okay, also real quick, got to do some deck uh, editing. I want to... I want to get rid of Righteous Blow, I think. Or it's... Yeah, I think it's Righteous Blow, right? Bless Strike. Maybe it's one of the Bless Strikes, but it's hard to pay... It's hard to play with 2-2 two, two here. I want to keep the Divine Strike as a way out of, hey, something went really wrong. So it's going to be Righteous Blow. And these will be my channel generators. Seems okay. I think I got you a Synergy slot too, right? Yeah, and you guys have two Synergy between you. Ah, Surge for two, two purple for one AP. Hey, that actually seems really good for Lucius, but it costs three. Have one rank of opportunity in a target hand. Yeah, I want that for Lucius. 
Draw one for Catherine. These are exciting because they give me something to really start spending my SP on. Exchange positions with an ally. Nah, you don't really need this because you have the intervention. I don't like create opening. I almost want to just give you surge, but... Too expensive, right? Gain 18 guard and lower initiative by 15. I kind of like this as a way to just gain 18 guard, though. The important part of this is not the lowering your initiative. The important part of this is you get to pay 1 purple for 18 guard, and it's repeatable. This card's kind of crazy, now that I think about it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Creates a common item to a rare item. You want? I kind of want to gamble a little more here. Let me get a... I feel like the important part is to pick a common item that you like. Like these silver bracers, for example, seem good. This is a common item that I think getting upgraded is very good. Start battle with plus one might, plus one lightning resist, and gets plus one fury on use. That's pretty good. Start battle with plus one might is pretty good. I think I lost that, didn't I? So I just gained it back. Huh. One melee attack damage? Nah. I think that this loadout is pretty good. I'm gonna mark this as junk. I'm gonna mark this as junk. I can't imagine a world where you want to use something that strength decks and gives you intelligence. It just seems confusing. Maybe the druid could use it, but I'm not playing with her. Oh, I would like to sell, and then we're gonna hit the road. Thank you. You can have this as well. And the wand. Okay. Let's go. 20 of 20 supplies. A uh, sister? I have a fate token? I have not missed that coin flip yet. Very cool. Oh, there's a safe passage here. Weird. Uh, so goal here is to head, we're gonna head up the source of corruption today. The map should be basically reset because I rested. The modifiers from the shrines I think are all gone. So. You do have to remember to click the waypoint and then I would like to go to uh, this one, right? Veilwoods. And then it's actually, it looks tough, but it's actually only three away. The corruption grows, the Rift War becomes more powerful, enemies in the region grow stronger. Uh, well, oh, it's probably because he's at, like, he's at, yeah, 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 you see it's broken up into threes up here. Yeah. Can I not walk here now? What is this? Here we go. Acceptable. Let's get into it. I, we're probably going to fight back the corruption. You're about, oh wait, when, you're about to enter a stronghold. Once you enter, you can only by any means. Strongholds can only be completed by reaching the very end of the area. Well, I'm glad I checked. Or I'm glad I restocked first. The air smells foul. The earth rumbles beneath your feet every now and then as if you're in the belly of an awakening beast. Okay, one more check, by the way. Yeah, I thought about it. I think Pierre has too many cards on, in his uh, deck right now. Problem is that five of them are magic missiles. Ice Nova has done very well, and Ice Nova, I cannot keep in this deck if I get rid of Mana Charge, right? So these cards are kind of together. He has enough AP, right? I think I said this earlier and then forgot. I can get rid of Flash. He has 4 AP. Flash is a dead card. I could cut a Magic Missile. I'm a little nervous about cutting a barrier, but you know what? He's got Catherine to protect him. He'll be fine. He's got three blocks. My man, he's a he's an absolute menace. Eventually I could see myself if I get enough magic missiles just cutting this package entirely. I guess no of a mana charge. But those cards definitely go together. Safe passage, kind of boring. Area grants a fate. Hey, remember when I paid $25 for a fate token? And then the area just grants me a fate here? Yeah. Maybe I will put in a timestamp. Probably not. Hey, cause I'm, I'm gonna forget this for sure. I'm gonna forget to put a timestamp into this video. No doubt. Uh, I know what this Wendigo is doing. It's talking like I don't know. I know. Here's the deal. I don't want Lucius to hit him twice. I wanted to save a might charge here. You're rooted? Why are you rooted? Is it an effect? Oh yeah, it is an effect. How about that? Hey, you don't have a whole lot you can do here then. 
But there's not really a good reason to block up. I guess there is. It's like, hit, and then just block to get your energy back. That's self for five, that's fine. I need to get Catherine to the point where she has some form of, uh, like, gain value for discarding healing cards, I feel. Alright, Pierre. This is what you're here for. Now, multi-missile, I wonder, does this trigger... Activates conditionally, then discards itself. Okay, so this is just gonna boost the first one. Holy shit, wait, he's going nuts. Good Ice Nova here. These guys have reduced damage taken. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Yeah, okay, it's pretty nuts. Again, I gotta be really careful with Pierre because he's very fragile, but... Yeah, wowee. Hello. Oh, this guy's immovable. Of course, I knew that. I don't think there's a good reason to spend SP on him. He's not even hitting me. Oh, he's also just dead if I swing. Huh. Leather gloves. I'm telling you, this game is just it's just mocking me with all this dex. It is absolutely just mocking me. Do you think that this is gonna lead to the final boss, by the way? Is this gonna or not the final boss? Do you think this is gonna lead though to the guy? I don't know. My man's rooted in the fire. What the hell? I'm gonna spend two stratagem here. I wonder what this game has as a cap to your health bar. Also, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's pretty good. No reason to... I, I got distracted by that turn. I wonder what this game has as a cap to your hand size, not health bar. Reward for walking in here? You're giving up two supp or a supply for it, basically, but... Sure. Eight enemies over two waves. Careful. The only way for them to really threaten me is to not be able to die in one hit to Lucius. I'm telling you, he's a monster. But, like I've been saying, I'm pretty confident that I'm eventually just gonna hit the wall. So I'm not gonna fuck around and increase my... Uh, my difficulty or anything like that. You do just skewer them, though. What happens if you do this? Does she get two attack of opportunities, I wonder? Mm -hmm. Go there. They have to step, right? I shouldn't have an attack of opportunity, I see. That's a good first round. Anything garden lower your initiative by 15. Hmm. Doesn't seem great. I think you just put up your block, I guess. Oh no, you should have moved to channel. You know what? I'll hold Blast Strike. I do draw my deck on a lot of these characters. Like, I draw 12 cards in two turns and I have 11 card deck for Pierre. Which is pretty interesting. They're not from the same race attacks. Okay, so this guy gets to do damage to me if I let the spider attack me, I assume. So step one here is pretty simple. You want to give yourself the diving zone benefit. And then I... I think you play King Strike. Okay, block free, that's fine. Only downside is I spent all my purple again, but Pierre just annihilates them. It's brutal, man. We are brutalizing these enemies. Yeah, another Enchanter's Essence, sick. Demon Hunger. Grants Rend, plus two melee attack damage attached. Attacks apply five chill once per turn, so this Rend has a little benefit to it. Cool. Ooh, plus one guard with strength, plus two guard with dex, battle with one might, plus three lightning resist. This is cool because it's rare and the other two are garbage. Oh, I didn't see this event here. I don't think I can afford to, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, we just go. I definitely want to give Catherine some sort of, like, high-value blocking setup and let her just tank for everyone. You spot a le lever and pulley along the hallway, which holds a ceiling chandelier in place. Several skeletons mill about in the adjacent foyer, unaware of your presence. Might be an opportunity to take them all out with a well-timed pull. I'm just add a, I'd honestly rather you just put a reward and challenge on a nearby pair. Enemies have 19% increased HP. Oh no. What are the enemies gonna do? Die to Lucius? Alright, right, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky. <laughs> At the same time, though, 
I mean, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky. Or oh, unless. Or oh, unless. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. I wonder if I can raise my max SP. That would be pretty sick. And mana charge. I'm definitely feeling like just artillerying out a bunch of magic missiles is the way forward here. Wendigo's gonna. Oh, he's, you know, I should actually look at what the Wendigo does and not assume that he's gonna do something. Yeah, Pierre doesn't use his purple super well. I can work on that. 37, not quite enough. Uh, you should just kill one. Yeah. Why does that enemy have shock? Do you know? What do I have that made that guy have two shock, I wonder? Was it the shock of Lucius killing everyone? Because, like, you get kind of used to it, to be honest with you. Lucius is having trouble with SP gain, I think because he doesn't actually... He only plays one big card per turn. I want more hands that look like that. Level 15, crossbow. I think it said level 16 for fighting the Rift Lord, so we gotta be getting close, right? You're heading up here. I'm beelining it. Intelligence is now 20. I kind of hope that your stats get capped at 20. Like, you can go above uh, 20 with gear, but I hope it caps you at 20 otherwise. Lucius, how about a tier 2 talent? What do we got? Cover 1 HP per turn, start up to 10. I've got all of these, but I don't remember them. Plus 1 melee attack damage, plus 2 physical resist. That seems very good. Burn, he's not using. Chance per fury charge to apply bleed to 50% of your strength mod. Plus 1 might if you're holding a two-handed weapon. Plus 1 avert every three turns for a shield. Yeah, so this is what I want for Catherine. I want, but she's not going to have enough strength for that, is she? No, because she's going to have all this intelligence, I see. Alright, you're going to go plus one melee attack damage and plus physical resistance. Catherine goes here. I could start putting in points into her strength. Like, I take her to 20 intelligence and start pumping up her strength, maybe. For the talents. If I can, I could also just spend this talent slot on plus four strength to get her to shield fighter. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to aim for. I just have to find her a good shield now. Like a shield that gives intelligence boost, maybe. Would be nice. Honestly, I think I'm fine. I'm not losing time in here, right? Path meanders on for a distance, then splits it up for it. Go up to the cell or go left to the chamber. I'll go to the chamber. Crafting material, sure. Hey. I would like... One extra item with the pressure plate. I think that that's been pretty good so far. Yeah. It's been hit or miss. Attached attacks deal plus three. The problem I have with spears is that they're dex. Right? I would love to play it, but it's a dex weapon, and that seems real bad. A, uh, a spear-based cleric sounds kind of cool, but doesn't seem good here, does it? Ah, oh, hey. Source of corruption. So here's the deal. Oh no, I thought that that cursed me. Never mind. It did not curse me, it just did damage. Let's go. The cave stretched on for a while. Flakes of melted wax litter, litter the floor. And every 50 meters or so, the cave walls are inked with strange runes you've never seen before. The tremors have almost tripled in frequency, showering you with loose rocks and pebbles with every few steps you take. Soon, the passage opens up into a cavernous area dimly lit by the light of what seems like over a hundred candles. An ominous-looking pentagram is scrawled on the ground, and three cultists kneel around it. They're hunched over, speaking a foreign tongue as if in a trance. There is a sudden burst of seismic activity as a final tremor emanates from the pentagram. You hear the passages collapsing behind you. The ritual is complete. A massive portal flashes into existence, and a nightmare crawls through. A spider of gigantic proportions, eyes flashing with a hunger for destruction and vile intelligence. A black gem sits embedded upon its head. Hey, we need one of those. The cultists sit calmly as the spider rapidly consumes each of them, willing sacrificial lands. There's a short window to gain an upper hand of some sort before the monstrous spider turns her attention towards you. So attack first, move move to a stalagmite counter, or 
retreat into the passageway. I'll go into the passageway. Right back down the passageway you came, but to your dismay you find that it is caved in. I know Tremor must have done it. You spin around only to have the spider bearing down on you. I guess it was just run in. I was thinking maybe we could like funnel the spider into us with the passageway, but I guess mechanically that doesn't translate very well. Hey, look at that. Now that's a real health bar right there. 1764. Now this is this is the wall, by the way. This is definitively the wall. This is what I've been saying I'm gonna run into eventually. And I've been trying to like set up Catherine to kind of mitigate it. How exciting. I'm I'm hyped to take this fight on. Yo, Lucius. And then so you're just gonna summon spiders on me, maybe. Retain shield block for sure. Yeah, this is the part where Lucius no longer gets to just one-shot everything. I kind of had a feeling this enemy wouldn't be able to be moved. It doesn't say it anywhere, but like, kind of, it seems kind of intuitive, doesn't it? Lucius, take a step over here, please. I'm gonna focus on killing these small spiders first. And then Pierre can just artillery this one. Five of six, okay. So it only used one, but it had two cards in hand that it was eligible to play. Kind of strange. One, two, three. You should shift. There is no reason for you not to shift. And I want you to stay in the same row as Catherine, unless Catherine has to run in to help Lucius. Definitely, to both of those ideas. Catherine does not have attack of opportunity. Oh, right. They get shocked because magic missile applies shock. I got a buff that does that. This enemy takes up two space. Huh. I wonder if Skewer is twice as effective on it. Feels a waste to overkill the spider by so much. The spiderling, I should say. So. Uh, Lucius got a kill and he gets initiative up. Creates poison ground on the cells in target row. Okay. The music is going pretty nuts. I mean, you're gonna shift here. Does this do double damage? No, it does not appear to. That's okay. <laughs> Ren is now this much. Pierre's going last. Might be worth it to weapon throw, but I bet that Catherine will have it. What a hand. Yeah, you got holy, holy force, right? Oh, this is a melee attack. What do you have that can hit back there? Smite? Oh, that feels like an overkill. Hard to tell what the best line is. Probably it's stopping leap attack, though. I don't know. It's probably something like Bless Strike, Bless Strike, Smite here. I feel like you have to want to stop that. And then you just Holy Force the Spider. Kill yourself for zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna evacuate you here. You know what? I'm pretty sure she was supposed to go back because Pierre's definitely not able to move up here. He won't be able to attack. On round end. Oh, it's not on round start, it's on round end. Great news. It's less of a problem than I thought. This enemy is not as much of a nightmare as I expected. Also, just check in. They're all the same way. Yeah, because... You want to always start with the first, like, the highest output one for Magic Missile. It's technically, like, slightly more damage. Usually it doesn't matter, but sometimes in games it does. Deal 16 damage plus 8 if the target has a root. And he doesn't. Now I think Catherine is actually going to end up tanking this hit, though. Unless I make her step back. Because she has intervened. She's going to block... So she, I need to give her one defensive play. Alternatively, I could just let her tank it. Has, oh, she has a vigil. 30% more. So she's going to generate 13 from this, not 10. Excellent. Yeah, giving her more strength does seem good, though, too, because it buffs up things like intervention. I can see the little bits here and there, right? I can start to see some ideas form like that. 
Like, oh, I, I could switch out some of my blocks to strength blocks and get a little value. Took three? Huh. I actually took three. Strange. Pardon me, I misclicked. Anyway, Pierre is just pumping damage back there. And you see how much it's showing this chill is gonna do? It looks like it's gonna do like half, right? You see this? God oh, damn. It doesn't. It does 51, of course. It does not do this much, but it looks like it's going to. I need like uh, I need, I actually kind of want to give her mana charge now. I know I took it out of her deck, but I could I could cut like bless strike for mana charge, and that would be pretty valuable because being able to play the smite for cheap would be strong. Just throwing some ideas out there. I also think that SP might be generated based on mana costs and not anything else. To be honest with you, the spider's kind of a loser. I think Diving Zone hits twice. 124. Pretty sure that's two hits, because it's two space. That was definitely 114 twice. Unsurprising that Lucius is an animal over here. Pierre gets pulled to the front. Don't care. Didn't mask. Oh, it, I thought it was going to swap their position. Interesting. Yeah, being able to double your magic missile plays does seem pretty good. Now, I saw that this enemy does bonus damage if you're rooted, so I'm not going to mana charge. Oh, Catherine gets hit here. What the heck? It's okay, I actually have something to heal now. How exciting. Plus strike, and then just go ahead with a divine strike. Plus two random cells. If allies start in the cell, they gain 6 HP and 2 might. Huh. Oh, and it's random, but it's determined, like, ahead of time. Weird. You can heal the poison out, which is nice. This boss was not the wall. I am not that surprised, to be honest with you. I would be surprised if I walked in here and they threw something that just annihilated me. Grant's web pull. Oh my god, it's another legendary dex item. Plus three guard with dex defense, one haste when you use web pull. Stop it. Relic tokens, as far as I can tell, so it allows you to augment an item. Cool. Relic tokens, as far as I can tell, are only for swap or for trading to Marco. So, body of the spider matron crashes into the ground, twitching in its death throes. With the ritual ended and the beast slain, you wonder if normalcy will return to this part of woods in time. You pry the obsidian piece from the spider's head. Excellent. Ready, bust with four might. Oh, we can just teleport out of here. I'm not gonna walk out. No way. And we leveled up for that. Pretty slick. I'm moving you towards Conjuration, right? No, I'm moving you towards this one, though. Conjuration 3, of course. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for... Energy tap, maybe. Because this is a passive, so you just have to draw it once. It's weird, because these are payouts for magic swords, and that's not what I'm going for. We'll see. Energy tap, sure. My man's got great, great AP. Like a, an extremely good amount. Where's he? He gets plus one from his gloves, I think. For Lucius, I'm heading towards Swordsmanship 3. I think Devastate's a cool, like, endgame card here. Uh, it's interesting because each of these is. This is intelligence, this is dex, this is strength. And I get to pick your battle here. Where else could I be going to go for this Talon over here? I feel like I, f I focus pretty heavily on the Talons, and a lot of them have been underwhelming. But that's okay. Tier 2 Talon for Catherine, unlock. What you got here? Uh, chill? No. Healing and status effects applied by consumables? No. Legion? No. Fire Cold or Lightning Spell? No. Plus one spell damage, recover 2 HP on kill or 6 if the enemy was elite. Fire Cold and Lightning Resist are reduced by 30% and then they're equal to the highest of the three. Not yet played any cards, you can reshuffle and draw a new hand. Hmm. This is surprisingly not that good, but if you remember what I was thinking about here, let's see if you can do it. Swap this to raw strength. 
What's her to 18? And then, ah, yeah, so you can do this. Uh, I'm down to I'm down to clown here with just Bub and her intelligence or Bub, like next level grabbing strength plus one and then going for shield fighter and finding her a good shield. And for now you can take battle hardened. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, I mean we could go home, but we could also just keep exploring. They said to keep exploring. I'm pretty sure. I think that there's more to find. We're basically just trying to find this guy in this area now. And so, I assume, they said the other place to look was the Moorlands. However, uh, we do also have... We have the Obsidian, right? Isn't that what I'm looking for? Do I have to go back to Wynn, maybe? Check the journal. No, we have to go stop the cultists, I see. Go the depths of the cave. I've done this, this is finished. I think I need to go stop the cultists. So let's hike on over here. Six days. I can hike to the Veil Woods and then port over to here and walk in. I think that's the play. Use waypoint. What's this? This is Silver Key of Gates I wish to go to. Let me go explore. Uh, Alright. Not a whole lot here. Grab the armor. Maybe it's cool. I'll take the supplies. 11 intelligence. Boots. Interesting. I think the base is what you care about, really, because you can upgrade these things into random pieces. Plus one supply. And just whatever. But you can X to leave this. I didn't see that up there. Get the shrine. I'm actually out of incense, right? I've spent it all. I have two left. Drop some magic weapon and a rune. Sure. Remind me when we go back. I mean, you can't remind me, of course, but remind me to go back and get more incense. It also is nice because it reveals some of the nodes to you. Are you clear? There's. Oh, I could have teleported to the moors here. I didn't see that. I'm not going to do all these explorations because we're on the clock. Oh, hey, it's Ida. Huh. Free currency, jewelry, random item. I'm going to come over here. This one intelligence, sure. Random item, crafting material. Could maybe go like one, two, three. Yeah, that seems good. I'm leaving one on the table, but it's the one that I get from Ida, so whatever. It's nice that you don't have to manage your inventory. Be in careful. Like, like if I want to go in a long expedition like this, I have 300 inventory slots, but it's good to keep it in keep it in check. Headed somewhere? Follow my lead. Oh, another descend deeper. Ooh. Gotta be careful I don't just take a million from these encounters, huh? I'm gonna try to dance around them a little bit. That one got me. We're getting a lot of money out of this. Who's just will kill an enemy? I mean, I may as well grab it, right? I think if, actually if I go here, because I get the... Get the flag, I get to just go grab this component box now. Reset sockets. And we're on again. Rune receptacle, gilded coffer. There's more enemies now. Definitely this. If I get hit again, I get hit again. I don't care. Grants one stealth. Do not mind it. $55. We're pretty rich now. A lot of money. I've been focusing on it. Uh, you know what? I'm almost certain I have to go there. What does this have? Drop some magic weapon. I don't take the magic weapon fight, but we're gonna... Again, I'm just trying to focus on hunting down the Rift Lord. It's kind of cool how this game is ramping the difficulty up. You get to kind of... It's a little bit cheesable, I feel, because I could spend as much time as I want up until the timer. Like, I could learn when the timer is and then just get supremely powerful ahead of it. But you kind of, like, they... they sort of nudge you towards, hey, it's time to move on, I feel. Ah, interesting. I feel like I got a little bit nudged towards, hey, it's time to go on, because the enemy stopped spawning in with, or the enemies just became not a challenge and I was getting nothing for it. Don't ask me why I moved this enemy here, I don't know. Just felt right. That guy. An ally in your row. I do want to heal Pierre. I think he's getting actually 
Oh, no, you have intervention, so you're getting it. And so it's, it's actually none. You're taking zero. I was going to put up the 18 guard there. It's nothing. However, she does get caught in the poison ground. Oh, wow. And the, the movement made Pierre get hit. Interesting. I didn't see that. This Titan is going to be a real irritation, but we got to pop through the bats first. Yeah. I have to make sure that I'm a little more cautious of Pierre's health bar, because my man could just get smoked, but he does a lot of damage. I mean, the Fury. It's seven thorns. I'm going to just pop the diving zone, but mm, I don't know. Maybe I go, like, weapon throw. Yeah, I'm gonna play a safer, slower play here. Discard diving zone. So I wanna take the thorns off as well for, for Pierre. It's it's kinda nice for me to take damage, I feel, and have Catherine get hit, because, you know, I feel like I never was not, was not getting any value out of her heal spells, so it's kinda nice to get value out of heal spells now. Oh, baby, that's 26. What the hell? I stepped up a little too confidently. You gotta block that. Okay, she blocks it, no problem. I just... Oh, buddy. I'm probably actually just gonna... Try... Oh, no, but they go first, of course. And it's not an issue because... Poison doesn't go through block unless they say it does. His energy is so... He has no channel. Let's see. It's fine. I almost want to take all of his block spells out and see what ends up happening. I think it's pretty bad. I think you got to keep a few in for, like, in case of emergency break glass. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just going to block. Efficient swordplay has been pretty bad. I suppose it's not that surprising, but... I expected this to be a little better. Oh, baby, greater mend here. Oh, look at that. That's such value. I healed. Oh my god, I got 30 healing off of that. What a crazy roll. Plus one spell attack damage, plus three cold resist. Cold resist, channel charges, and one strength. Oh, that's pretty good for Catherine. You lose two attack damage for it, but like. Yeah, what the hell? That's good. Where is it? Here? Yeah, plus one max channel and plus one strength. Oh, that lets her get the... Yeah, I don't care about your attack damage. It gives you enough strength for... It feels a little weird that it's uh, not base strength that unlocks these. But you don't get shield fighter yet, though. There's no reason. You don't have a shield yet. You're actually using a two-handed weapon now that I think about it. Right? I mean, I'll find you something better eventually. There is a shield here, I guess. But it's not... It, it's not very useful. I need an intelligence shield. I'll find one, I'm sure. You're just out here beating face. And then I got a new wand I want to check for you. Plus one. This is plus two. And it's better... Also, it gives the plus one rank on the magic missile, so... Uh, I should upgrade your citrine. This enchanter's essence, I think. Let's upgrade uh, Pierre's. Let's give him a blue one. Did I just get pranked? <laughs> did I just. Did I just get pranked? Am I stupid? Does this not have a higher level? Well, that's a shame. Either, either we just had a crazy two rolls where nothing happened, or that amulet does not have a higher level of amulet to it. You know, I'd rather go to the exploration here. Although, you know, that was actually a bad thing for the time. Yeah. Prime. I don't really care about the rune merchant. I guess I can go get him. May as well see what he has. Oh, he actually walked right into it. How about that? Yeah. It's limited in cost SP. 
three crit on use, three initiative. Yeah, I don't want to spend money on this. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm pretty sure somewhere over here is where I'm supposed to be exploring, so I'm just going to look around. Crafting material and armor caches, burning ground, chilling ground. Sure. It's kind of interesting that you can't avoid praying to the shrine. Maybe you can. Oh, this is a wait, this is a big fight. A little worried about my supplies, but I think I will be able to make it up to the top and be okay. Remember when I said I was going to make this series 30 minute episodes? Yeah, me too. We got stalagmites on our side. Is stalagmites or stalactites? I can never remember. Oh. I'm not so sure about kicking this enemy to the back. I'm just gonna end turn, there's no reason. Oh, can you not hit through the rocks? Oh wow, that's kind of bad. Step on up, I guess. I didn't know you couldn't swing through the rocks. 50, I guess. Yeah, maybe you get a cool heal. Heal yourself. The rocks that are supposed to be on my side, I think, are actually working for the enemy. So these are now going to generate me mana. Oh, but I rooted in out of range of hitting the only la the remaining enemy. Foolish. That's fine, this is a slaughter. That can't be played from middle. So Pierre, or sorry, Lucius cannot be in the back. It is very bad for him. Gonna spend SP to step up. Life rune. Grant sustaining strike, deal 24 damage, regain 3 HP. Huh. Interesting. And it's gotta be somewhere around here, right? Is, that, is it cultists? Maybe it's cultists. Maybe I need to let this get all the way full. And then it'll pop up, I'm not sure. Hey, there's my bear. I remember reading about that one coming up. Hmm, this one's attacking, so you may as well kill three. Yeah, you know what, Lucius? Just kill four enemies on your turn. Who oh, knows? Nice. I'm definitely playing a little faster than I should, though. Do you have attack of opportunity? I don't even want you to pop that, really. Yeah. And mana charge, I guess. Nothing much to do. You can't even channel. I'm gonna think about changing the way that my... Uh, my good buddy here works. Catherine. Mmm, there's a super bat. 38. Oh, he rolled an 18. Wow. How about that. Let's do 279. Well, anyway. Oh, blocked by trait. Oh, he has the reduced damage. Durable. I see. He also has move to a random unoccupied cell when hit. I need to lead with this because if he moves out of my range, it's a real shame. I don't know what he's doing. Well, I guess if I get clapped, I get clapped. Oh my god, wow. That was very bad. I did get clapped. What is this? Takes bonus damage from status... 30% more from stored to status effects. He just takes less overall. Okay. I'm just gonna pop the spiders then real quick. Should be fine. Catherine has so many cards in her hand because she has two passives and she's drawing six. It's just... It's a ton. <laughs> Random cells get blessed. Not the greatest cells of all time to see that blessing on, but you know what? Okay, Catherine can step into it. I really like using her as... I, I kind of like the idea of... Oh, they both died. Okay. 17. Nice. I like the idea of using her with the take a hit for an ally and just having her tank for Pierre. And then making Pierre have nothing. Ooh, legendary light armor. This is a dex intelligence piece. Mm-hmm. 
experience conjure blades gain 15 critical when you use conjure blades this is like a I'd, I'd like to see yeah magic swords i remember why i didn't take these these are decks apply bleed kind of cool I and mean, i'm gonna take the legendary for sure hey I wonder if captain roberts men are having any better luck perhaps we should head back to the garrison to find out ah uh, so this is like we weren't supposed to find anything cross paths with what appears to be a traveling merchant do you have tokens no what do you have What the hell is this? Grants flash, plus one intelligence, grants a random buff after getting six channel. Uh, Ingvar's reach. Oh, okay, okay, I'm interested. I don't really like moving Catherine towards a uh, big strength spear game plan, but that's kind of a cool one. What else we got here? Legendary medium armor, lone beacon. Convert bleed to burn, apply 10 burn. Burn stacks you apply are increased by 2 and you're immune to burn. Eh. It seems good on someone, but not in my party. The Austere. Plus 1 strength, recover 4 HP on turn start. When you're below 30% of max HP, recover 2 HP on turn start. You cannot gain fury. My man just sits there, he just lives forever. Ulfur's Bindings. Summon Spirit Wolf. Summon Spirit Wolf AP cost reduced by 1. Plus 3 max HP plus 1 to dex. Plus 1 dex. Reduce shock received by 3. Gain 3 critical when you apply shock. Mirror Mail. Hey, let me see this off Lucius. Grants Reflect. On round start, gain thorns. Plus 3 guard with strength defense skills. Gain 1 avert every 3 turns. Gain 8 thorns on turn start. Hey, this is actually like... This is good on... On her. Right? This is good on her. Give her thorns and let her start just walking in and getting hit. I'm interested in shifting my build towards this. What we got here? Iron Legion. Grants block, plus one to strength based challenges, plus three physical resist, plus two melee attack damage. A life of pain and discipline. That one's pretty cool. Grants parry, you cannot be disarmed. Increase the effects of might by 18%, plus one strength, AP increased by one. Okay, I'm interested. Activation effect, gain 25 to 75 gold. Activation effect, gain three to six supplies. What does this do? 50 of these tokens. I'm down to buy this. 50 renown. Here, I'll buy these. I'll figure out what these do later. I'm not going to handle all of this. So, so it's between... Mirror Mail and Iron Grip here. I've said that giving her plus one AP would be very good, but the rest of this is pretty bad, so I'm going to wait on that. I think that this is cool. I think that this is the sort of thing that makes me shift my entire build towards it. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. Final answer, lock it in. Great event. I'm glad I popped in there. 112% more gold. And another item. Okay, I'm going to only do one of these. I've read these. I, I, I have to watch my time, basically. I don't want to take unnecessary turns. But I will pop over here. I will take the one with money. Rune Merchant. Can I make it to that fruit tree? Probably not. I'm not going to grab that. I'm just going to go here. I don't want any of this. Maybe I should have grabbed the Cartwrights. Supply Crate. Fountain Urn. Get both of these? There was definitely a moment there. Yeah. Oh. Eight dollars and a rest point. That is a terrible rest point. I'm gonna go get this fountain. Fifteen dollars? I feel like I've been making a lot more money lately in this game. I can just leave it. I'm gonna take this one for the 112% more gold. Ah, uh, you know what? I might do both of these. I'm gonna run out of supplies, though. I don't know what happens when you're out of supplies. Maybe you just take damage every round? I don't know. Scary. I think I am going to cut this card. Efficient sword play. It sounded cool, but it just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. I don't like it too, because it's random. I'm going to line these guys up. Interesting draw. And damage hitting Lucius. I didn't even set you up. Bought that and I didn't even use it. 
27, 35. I think I just do it like this and then Pierre should annihilate. Yeah. I didn't have to check. I had a pretty good feeling. Pierre's just gonna do it to him. I do like just turning him into a bit of a cannon here. There's only three enemies? Do they only arrive on the back row, you think? Might be. Hey, here, let me play a rend. I think Diving Zone was better, though. The problem with that card, the attack, not the attack of opportunity, but the, the, the like, hold this until you can play it card. And what is it called? I'll just answer. I don't know what it's called. The... How do I, what, what does it do? The one that makes your... After you play a finisher, it makes one cost less. This is what I'm trying to say. That card. The problem I think that it has is... Diving Zone is not a finisher, and it's the best card for Lucius to be playing. Oh, you could have back kicked this guy. That's okay. I didn't even give any XP for that. There's a cap to how much they let you grind, but like, come on, I had to take this. Alright, so Ice Shard, plus 3 spell attack damage, attached attacks, apply 5 shock. And you take the rare for sure. What happens if I run out of supplies, you think? I'm gonna run out either way. So we may as well find out. It's hard to... Hard to not run out of supplies, I feel like. How am I supposed to stop fighting enemies? It's so fun. No, please. Thank you. I'm just diving zone and kill two... Kill three here. But... Enemy gets to swing. Kinda wanna do here. Pretty sure if I play like this... Yeah. And you go like... Bop. Before. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm gonna be playing magic missiles here. Indeed. Good fight. Oh, this isn't a fight. This is a horde encounter. There's more to kill. Might just kill them all again, honestly. We'll see. Yeah, which one's going first? Back roll up. Top one? Not anymore. Hold this 303. Sorry, boys. Looks like Wolf is back on the menu. No reason to spend anything I don't need to spend, right? You may as well just, like, rebuild your SP and chill. Ooh, big Wolf. What's he got? Has at least two guard for every allied beast in battle on round start. <laughs> he also has durable, which is a real bitch. What's he doing? He's doing 40? Whoa! Hey, hang on a second there, mister. Hang on a minute. Okay, I mean, it's fine. I just block up with Catherine and let her tank for Pierre. As is eternally the plan. She's here, and I'm, I'm a little unsure, and I have nothing better to spend on, so I may as well do this. But she should take this, right? Jump in. Yeah. The screen flashed red, and I was like, ooh, did I just lose someone? Nah. Game just doesn't know. It was durable, makes him not die to this. Wow. Take half damage. Incredible. I'm gonna smack him. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing XP wise, but I will. Five percent increased strength to physical resist. Ooh, ten percent more gold found. Probably what I want. Right, let's see what happens when we're out of supplies. Oh, you take exhaustion. It looks like. That's fine. We'll rest. Oh! Exclamation mark. Uh oh. I just, I'm, suddenly I'm worried maybe there's like a fight here or something, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, level up real quick. Not be lazy. Here, take plus one intelligence. I don't want to deal with synergy right now, to be honest with you. I'll deal with it later. Also, one more for him. Lucius just gets his skill grid one turn early, huh? I'm looking for Devastate. The problem is I don't really know if I can use Devastate, right? I guess if I... I could maybe build around it. 
It's like good for boss fights, but it's pretty worthless otherwise. I mean, it is three. It's another big kill card for Lucius to hold on to, right? This seems okay. Holy Warrior. I'm moving away from Holy Warrior. I'm moving you towards Spirit Healer, I think. Right, I was going over here. I'm gonna clean up these. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for Divine Power or Divine Shield. Oh, for sure. Deal 16 damage, cleave. Every time you heal an ally, they gain 12 critical. Every time you heal an ally, they... Ooh, they gain 3 might? Yo. These are all really good. Discard a heal card and gain a channel. Plus 1, plus 2. Or discard a heal card to gain a bunch of guard. I actually kind of want it to be the channel. Because I could spend the purple to gain a heal card and then gain channel. And then spend the channel. Although this does cost energy, so it's not that big of a boon, is it? I think trading the heal for guard is better then. I'm not going to micromanage this shit right now, by the way. I'm, I'm going to assume that this is not a fight. Ah, you know what? Gains of supplies, heal... Nah, this isn't worth it. I don't lose exhaustion. Alright, please tell me we're not under attack. I beg you. Okay, we're good. Uh, I am not going to do this dialogue because this video has already been an hour. I'm gonna rest. Yeah, I don't think I want to push it. And I am going to end episode. Again, I'll probably just... I, I might do it off screen. I'll probably just start tomorrow with a inventory management session. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.